indispensable part of diet. It provides sweet water, fluid wine with thin oil, coconut milk which is made from water and grated coconut milk. It is used as Indian ginger mole, Southeast Asia curry, Indian kukuda, Filipino binasa, bilo bilo, and Samoan luau, Ghanaian corn boiled in coconut milk. It is made chicken from Mozambique. Mm. Wow, Brazilian, Watapa, and Caribbean, Kuku, to a name just few. So this one is the the use of coconut tree. Lah. Some uh, make coconut milk. Some use for cooked dishes, right? Um, yeah. Origin lah. I don't know what kind of pili pili chicken is all. I don't know lah. But it's kind of food lah. Food. Okay. Uh, so the coconut farm, paragraph 2 is central to a thousand household uses okay, ranging from thatch roof to floor mats. So uh, some of them uh, use the coconut uh, palm to make roof. Bumbung, you know, the house roof to floor mats. Okay, palm woods are free and used as uh, toothbrushes. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, free mean uh, it's a kind of uh, rope, you know rope? They like twist it all together. Many layers of the rope, right? Macam tali lah, you have, you see tali, right? Tali, tali rapia, right? And used as toothbrushes. Seed fiber are twisted into ropes and bridles. Bridles mean um bridles is this one is used to control the horse. Kena tengok tak tali untuk kuda tu kan? When they are sitting on the back of the horse, right? They use some kind of rope to pull the to hit the horse. Yeah, I don't know how to explain. It's rung are built into kinos. Kinos is macam... Kinos is macam... You know, kinos is macam rumah lah, rumah. Uh, not rumah, macam buluh-buluh. Um, you pernah tengok tak kalau orang naik kat tasik kan, they use some kind of uh, sampan, like sampan lah. That one is kino lah. It makes of coconut root lah, actually. Not bulu lah. Macam sampan daripada kelapa punya root lah. Okay. Houses are retrenched with palm fronts every four or five years in tropics and the old materials is burned in garden for fertilizer. So, uh, what is the meaning of retrench? Retrench. Retrench mean... Um, That kind of retractable lah, okay. Um, do you understand the meaning of retract? Retract and form. Form is actually kan daun pokok kelapa tu. Okay. Is front. You pernah tengok kan? Pokok kelapa punya daun kan? Okay. Hmm. What is this question? Retrench is actually kan yang buat untuk uh, bumbung lah. Uh, macam straw of the leaf, right? They keluarkan the straw and then they orang buat bumbung. Macam they orang menganyam, you know, menganyam, right? Okay. Macam you buat tikar kan? Have you seen someone making a tikar like this, right? Macam menganyam. Menganyam. I don't know how to draw thing. Okay. And then, 
also we go to the and some of the natural of the coconut palm we can make fertilizer lah. Dia orang bakar eh. some of them are burn and fertilizer baca lah. The amazing thing about coconut palm is ni coconut palm means uh, ladang kelapa lah. Okay. Is that it provides almost all the necessity of life. For example, food, drink, oil, medicine, fiber, timber. Timber ni kayu balak lah. Patch. Patch ni just tell uh, the, the straw of the, the straw lah. Straw tu maksud dia uh, fiber of the pokok kelapa lah. Dia punya daun eh. Mat. Mat ni alas kaki. Well, kan tahu kan kita buat minyak kelapa sawit some we use as fuel and domestic utensil as well as serving important environmental services such as um, such as soil erosion control in coastal region wind protection and shade for other crops so it's great elevate and agroforestry expert in Hawaii so coconut actually have a lot of uses lah. So pure is the water inside the coconut that is used to rehydrate on the um, Yes, I have the PDF. Um, Why Kausalia you want this? Oh, but I already uploaded in the email actually. Okay, later you try to find again. If not, I will email to you lah. Okay. So, uh, just now where are we? Okay, so rehydrate the wounded patient. So air kelapa ni boleh bagi air lah kan for the wounded patient when there a shortage of sterile glucose. So actually the coconut, uh, coconut water right, they actually have the glucose lah. If they are short of uh, food or anything, they will give the coconut water as a alternative to the patient lah world war. Okay. Coconut growing provides a living for about 10 million families. The Philippines, Indonesia and India are the world's leading producer. Although coconut is grown on large plantation, it is also important crop for small farmers. Although coconut is grown on a large, sorry. In the Indian province of Kerala, where more than 3.5 million families rely on the coconut, for an income, the number of coconut palm in a household is the measure of its prosperity lah, kekayaan. Its seed, the coconut itself, can float from mud in salt water until a high tide finally deposit it on a friendly beach. There is bus in the equatorial sun and takes the roots. In a dozen year, an 11 meter tree is in the in a place. The ripening green nut hang from the top and a great, great skill is required to harvest them. Okay, so actually the coconut kan boleh tumbuh sendiri lah. Like how you read from here right. Actually they can, uh, from the coconut itself, it can grow another new tree lah. Okay. okay. What is the meaning of busk? Busk is where you expose to the sun, you expose to the light, right? Next is Sri Gren is one of the world's elite and most unusual coconut pickers. Okay, so they are the coconut picker lah, pengutik um, coconut. He has worked at a plantation in Kanchanadik, Thailand for about five years, six days a week. He is in the field by 8 a.m. with light brown intelligent eyes. The pig tail makake monkey climbs a 10 meter tree. So actually right, 
Uh, this one is actually Sregel is the monkey lah. Okay, we call it as Sregel. The marker K monkey. Okay. So, it can climb up a tree in a 10 seconds. About 10 seconds. He then hangs from the branch of one by one arm and then with the another arm. And he spit. He spin in a coconut on its stem until it falls to the ground. Working until 4 p.m. with an hour off for a lunch of banana, rice and milk. Trigger will pick about 100 coconuts. That's more than three times what the best, very best human picker can achieve. Okay. The monkeys are captured in the wild when young and taken to school. Where their owners pay a small fee to have them trained for some six months to climb the tree and select only the ripest food, the fruit, which they determine by color and texture. They live for about 20 years and work for half this time. Wow. The monkey is far better. <laughs> okay, so now let me answer the question. So from paragraph one, what are what are some of the things that the coconut provides? Coconut tree provides and what two things that are used in Indian and South Asian curries? Okay, let me go to the paragraph one. So, uh, what are the things that the coconut tree provides? Okay, what coconut tree provides from paragraph one? Mm, it provides sweet water, right? It has fruit and then cooking oil, right? You can write this all up. So, uh, it is used as what in Indian and Southeast Asian curries. Yeah, coconut fruit. Uh, coconut fruit? Buah dia. They can eat, you know. Actually, they have the fruit inside. You can eat actually. Tak pernah makan. It is uh, quite sweet lah. Hmm. Okay. So, coconut milk is used in Indian jiga moli. Okay, so actually the coconut milk lah and coconut meat. Okay. Grated coconut meat. Uh, this one is the flesh lah, isi. Isi coconut tu. You can make use a uh, curry lah. Okay. So, your answer... What, what can you use in Indian uh, dish, Indian curries? You can say the coconut meat. Here is the answer lah. Coconut meat, grated coconut meat and also the uh, coconut meat eh. These are the two things we use in making the Indian curries. The santan lah. Santan eh. Okay next, we go to question 2. So from paragraph 2 and 3, what? Is burned in the garden for fertilizer. So from the paragraph two, what did they burn for fertilizer? Okay, so from here, so your answer is there. The last line of paragraph two. See right here is old old palm. Old palm material. Lah. So old palm fronts. Just now I see the fronts is like uh macam the panja panjang thing like straws, you know, from pokok kelapa. Actually they take this one from the coconut lah. Okay. Kena tengok dia punya sabut tak? Macam sabut lah, sabut kelapa. Okay. All palm fronds used for retrenching house. Retrenching ni you nak buat uh, tu lah macam bumbung. Bumbung rumah and then bumbung. Hmm. So how does the coconut palm provide an important environmental service? So how does it provide the environmental service? Okay. Let me see. 
Paragraph, paragraph 3. So the amazing about the coconut palm is that it provides all the necessity. Okay. The environmental service such as what? Provide service such as soil erosion control in coastal region. Coastal region ni macam kawasan pantai lah. Biasa kat kawasan pantai ni kan, you have the a coconut tree kan. So the akar, I mean the root is very strong, very deep. The depth is very deep lah. So uh, it prevents the soil erosion lah. Okay. So easy this one, you all must score lah. 15 marks is it usually right? Oh, not 15 lah. 15 lah. Okay. So number three, for paragraph four and five, why why was the coconut water used to treat wounded patient during the World War II and another one? How is a person well measured in the Indian state of Kerala? Okay. So for the paragraph four and five, we want to find why coconut tree is used. Uh, the coconut water is used to treat the wounded patient. How how? Anyone want to give the answer? Try lah. I'm the only one giving the answer. Hmm? Why do you think actually the coconut water, right, can be used to treat the wounded patient? Paragraph 4. So sterile glucose kan, actually kan, uh, sterile mean bersih lah. Uh, no bacteria, no any microorganism lah. So the glucose during the World War Three, right, they uh, need to rehydrate the patient. Rehydrate maksud dia, bila uh, someone is wounded, right, they uh, lost of a lot of water kan, macam you hilang a lot of blood. So your body uh, will have uh, lost a lot of water. So how to uh, maintain the volume of blood? in your body, they give you glucose, sterile glucose lah. The one is very clean lah. But if let's say they couldn't find the sterile glucose, they replace with the pure coconut water. So it can rehydrate the wounded patient actually. So why? Because the coconut water is pure lah. You can say that pure. Pure mean macam sterile juga lah. No bacteria contain, right? So there's a one of the way why they use the coconut water to treat the wounded patient. Okay, another one, uh, number paragraph five. They said how you measure the wealth of a uh, Indian in the province of Kerala. So, uh, how you measure the wealth? In India, right, they have a habit lah, like to measure the wealth of the people. How? the number of the coconut palm in a household is the is the measure of its super prosperity. So that means if you have a lot of coconut palms and then you own lah, if you own the coconut palm more than I don't know how many numbers so that's measure your wealth lah, kekayaan lah. Yeah. So the number of the next go to next question. From paragraph uh, 6, which word means food and which word means tropical? So from paragraph 6, let me find food and tropical. Okay, anyone want to try Satish? What are the words in paragraph C? Uh, you can uh, replace uh, say, have same meaning as word put, P-U-T. Hmm? 
Poi, poi. So put actually we can uh, give the answer here. We can give the deposit. The word deposit and put is almost the same lah. Because put mean you put uh, at one side, right? Deposit also you uh, like deposited at one side, right? See? And finally deposit it on a friendly beach. So you bring the coconut itself to a one side. So let me you put it in on one side lah, on one side. Okay. So just now is put and one more. What is the word? Define the name. Tropical. Okay, tropical. Tropical means like our country lah. The country we have a lot of plant. Uh, I mean we are, we have a lot of heavy rains, right? We, we are not living in like a North Pole or South Pole, right? Okay, so equatorial lah is the word lah. It has the same meaning as the as the what? Just now. Tropical lah. Okay, tropical mean negara yang dekat tengah-tengah lah. You know the world equator. Ha, tulis tiwa right? You know our our country right? Malaysia or China, sorry, or Thailand. We all have a we are actually in the Kaha Tulis Tiwa lah, the equator of the earth. Okay, eh? so we are here actually, the Thailand or the India or right, we are Asian right, so we are almost the equator here. So tropical country usually uh, we call if you are in the equator lah, okay. Eh? Ni bumi tau. <laughs> next, I think we finish all the questions, so we go to the next one. Huh, last one. So from paragraph 7, describe how Sri Gun, the Makeku monkey, uh, picks the coconut. So how? From paragraph 7, just now you already learned, right? The monkey is actually the world's elite, you know? World's elite. Okay, how? You pick up them. See, it climb a 10 meter tree and then it hangs from branch to branch by one arm with another arm and his feet. He spin a coconut on its stem until it falls. You know, just spinning the coconut fruit, right? So the coconut will fall down lah. Okay. That's the answer lah. So later, uh, I, you all can download this one and you all can try to fill in the answer lah. Maybe after the fusion center open, right? I will check lah. Yes, I don't know what you learn at home. Untung lah, budak PT3 dan UPSR, they have no more exam. You know, you know, right? They only have the SPM student for next year. SPM examination for PT them. Don't know what they do at home. Okay, so exercise 7 uh, is actually right, the continuation of this one, but not in a state. Okay, exercise 7, question 1 to 7 are based on the following passage. So choose the best answer to fill in the blank. So Enda Rompin is the largest, second largest national park in Malaysia. It is home to rare Sumatran, Venus as well as tiger, Tapirs and lots of elephants. Okay, number one. Uh, who want to answer? I choose Satish lah, number one. Satish is very quiet today. So, how to, what? A Sumatran Rhinos or a and Sumatran Rhinos or the Sumatran Rhinos? No, it's badak sumbu, is it? So, what is the answer for number one? A uh, and or the? Home to rare Sumatran. A uh, rare Sumatran and rare Sumatran or the rare Sumatran? What do you think the answer? Huh? 
Hello. Hello. Sakis mana Sakis? Sakis you tidur uh -huh. ke? Why you answer Sakis? Uh, yeah. Number one. Tengok atas. Ha. Dia nak tengok atas? Ha. Hmm. Number one. To a an order. What's your answer? The. The. Yes? Good? The. Right. Because you already have the rare Sumatran. You know. Good. So number one, the answer is the. Eh? Okay. Number two. Let me see number two. So there could be as many as 50 tigers, 500 elephants. So what do you think the answer? Uh, Wengkang. 50 tigers, so 500 uh, the elephants or but the uh, or the end sign of so and or so what is your answer then come for number two and Yes, good. And lah, so easy, right? Okay. So, number two is D. Okay, number three. Number three. Number three, Kausal, yeah? Right? Okay, Shelly. Shelly, yeah? We, we pronounce it Shelly. I'm sorry. Enjoy. So, an option. Yeah. Yes, enjoy that because you see, after two, you must use the base word or root word lah. Dekatan asal. So, to enjoy. Good. Okay, number four, Kelby. Number four, Kelby. Please come. Former hunter gatherers have made a good transition to guiding, running, bus, okay, sorry, bush camps and capturing. Capturing what? Short term, so this is still. Okay. No. Jawapan dia D. Services lah. Dia provide the service lah. Maksud dia, dia orang macam guiding. So, dia orang buat cam, right? Category services lah. Okay. It's a D. What is true? Who is this? So, uh, true is a who have the power lah. Power in the society lah. Okay. A power making judgment. Macam ranger ke kan? Ranger hutan kan? Tak lah. Okay. Uh, number five. Arvinda. Arvinda. Hello. Arvinda ada ke tak? Ya, yeah, Arvinda sikit. Alvin. The Malaysian Nature Society which is also known to its foodie member as makan non-stop have done for some years. So they have done what? Makan makan lah. Hmm, Number five, what is the answer? Having? Done this. Hmm? Done that for five years. Yeah, number five. Number five. Done this or done that? What is your answer? Just give A, B, C, D. 
Ouais. 10. Yes. Yes. Yes, this right, good. This lah. It's a progress, a society, right? They only done some activity. You can't really come from an activity, you don't know, right? Just this. Okay, number six. It is no exaggeration to say that the jakun, nasi lemak, curries, and fish are than many restaurants in KL. Are what? It's a comparison, right? We are comparison. So, number six, what do you think, answer? Are good than many, are best than G for best, right? We use the best. You cannot say uh, the best then. We are not making comparison, we are showing this one is the best. So, what is the answer you think? Yes, better, right? Are better than any restaurants in KL. So, they are making comparison. So, you use better than. Yeah, good. Okay, in a state. A stay at jungle camp near the beautiful, near yeah, beautiful waterfalls just outside the park can be sublime, uh, sublime so much, so much so that you might not want to. What? Want to go? Want to leave? Want to stay? Want to visit? What do you think? Like so nice. You tak sampai hati nak apa? Sublime means a very great beauty and excellent beauty lah. The waterfall is very beautiful lah. So you tak sampai hati nak? Leave lah. To leave. Why not try a trip to Endau Romping today please? Endau Romping dekat mana eh? Negeri, negeri apa eh? Faham ke Perak? I do too I'm not sure Endau Romping. Ke Taman Negara lah. Endau Rompeng. Ni dia paham. Oh Johor. Wow. Wrong. Endau Rompeng kat Johor. Okay maybe you can try to visit lah. The PKP lah. Okay number next. Any question so far? Any question so far? Okay we go to the next one. So now we are learning about the short story lah. So long right we didn't learn about the literature. So have you read the Tanjung Ru short story? Have you read the short story? Kita ni you try try have a look lah about the short story. Try to read a lot lah. Rather than wasting your time doing nothing right. Better you read something. So that your brain cell won't die. Okay. Uh, so Tanjung Ru, let me read about the author. Author is Ming Fong Ho. It's a Burmese of Chinese. He was born in 1951. Maybe you can know lah. Uh, actually, she lah. She, not he. <laughs> okay, but, but the name sounds like guy, right? <laughs> Ming Fong Ho. So she study at Taiwan City. Okay, this one is not it lah. Let's skip lah. So we go to the synopsis. We just know it's an author, the author name, right? It's enough lah. So synopsis. So it's about the setting, the story setting is at Singapore lah. Tell us about the hardworking businessman who lives with his wife, daughter and elderly mother. Miss, Mr. Lee's office is near the harbour. Harbour is uh, a pelabuhan lah. And he loves to look down at the harbour and count the ships in it. Okay. As he does this, he remembers certain events from his past. The first is his mother's visit to his office. Mr. Lee's mother, Ahma, wants to see Tanjung Ru, where they used to live long ago from his office window okay so whenever he's uh, looked through the window to the harbor right he kind of remembers his mother lah. okay so mr mr lee had bought a pair of binoculars for her to use however on the day of ahma's visit 
Amos deleting by insisting on taking her time over a ritual at the family altar. This one is, you know, some the, the that Dickies, right? Dickies, they perform the ritual, right? Okay. Mr. Lee's daughter Ying is impatient with her grandmother's loneliness and try to hurry her up. Mrs. Uh, Mr. Lee rebuffs his daughter for being distracted. Rebuffs me, you macam marah lah to her grandmother. At Mr. Lee's uh, office, Ahma cannot see the harbour or Tanjung Wu despite the binocular, which is probably due to her cataracts. So usually cataracts mean you cannot really see lah, even with fact or whatever you cannot see. Ini penyakit mata lah, later you google what is cataracts. However, Ahma clearly recalls the happy days when they live at Tanjung Wu. When Mr. Lee was a young boy, later Mr. Lee recalls his visit to his mother in the hospital and how he scolds him, who he felt was not treating her mother in a respectful fashion. So Mr. Lee realized he should take care of the altar after his mother's death. He places Ahmad's photograph on the altar beside his father's, but is unable to carry out the rit rituals like lighting the joe sticks because Ahmad was locked the drawer and Mr. Lee doesn't have the key. This one is the altar lah ni, tempat. Uh, you letak gambar orang yang dah mati kan. You know, usually if you have a neighbor, Chinese neighbor, you can see them. In a film also, you have this kind of movie kan. Okay. So, it's actually about a son who, who uh, recalls his memory with his mother lah. Okay. Tanjung Ru. Tanjung Ru is the place where she want to visit, right? His mother want to visit. Okay. So, let me see the element of the story. So the third thing is in the urban lah. Urban mean bandar lah. Okay. Singapore. Character this one. Okay, Mr. Lee, wife, mother, daughter. Okay. The conflict within Mr. Lee between his tra traditional upbringing and his modern lifestyle. Difficulty of dealing with the way he age. His age 